from strange, huge beasts that shook the earth to small, bizarre feathered dinos. Here are 14 of the weirdest dinosaur fossils ever found. Baryonyx Due to its long snout and narrow jaws, this animal has been compared to the modern-day gharial or fish-eating crocodile. But these beasts would have been much larger, going around 33 feet long, 10 metres and weighing about 2 tonnes, that's over 1,800 kilograms. Some distinctive physical traits include the neutral spines of its dorsal vertebrae and powerful forelimbs with claws that were around 12 inches long, that's 30 centimetres. They existed during the early Cretaceous period, around 130 million years ago. Amargosaurus Going some 33 feet long, or 10 metres, and weighing 2.9 tonnes, that's 2,630 kilograms, this sauropod would have been considered one of the smallest of its kind. Its fossils were found in Argentina, where it lumbered about more than 120 million years ago. Its best known physical feature is a series of tall, neutral spines that run down its back in parallel rows. Experts say the spines can reach a maximum length of 24 inches, that's 60 centimetres, and that makes them the tallest spines found on any sauropod. While their exact purpose remains a mystery, some scientists say the spines may have been used for purposes ranging from combat to self-defence or display. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Therizinosaurus This theropod existed until around 70 million years ago and grew to an impressive size at 33 feet or 10 metres and weighing some 5 tonnes, 4,500 kilograms. But its most outstanding characteristic was the huge set of razor-sharp claws found on the digits of its front limbs. Measuring about 1 metre long, 3.3 feet, they're the longest claws found on any known animal thus far. Psittacosaurus The dinosaur was named Psittacosaurus, meaning parrot lizard, due to its beak that resembled a parrot's. But the animal's truly impressive feature was its use of countershading. That's a form of camouflage that's commonly used by animals. The dino's fossils were found in Asia, where it lived until around 100 million years ago. When researchers reconstructed the animal's colour patterns, they discovered that it had a light underside with darker colouring on top. That colouring would have helped the dinosaur stay camouflaged in the forest. Psittacosaurus was a smaller beast, weighing only 44 pounds or 20 kilograms, while measuring around 6.5 feet long, around 2 metres. So it would have needed that camouflage to stay hidden from its much larger predators. Concavenator. This theropod dinosaur existed around 130 million years ago in the early Cretaceous period. Its name translates as humpbacked hunter, and indicative of that unique name, the creature had some unique physical traits too. This carnivore went about 20 feet long, or 6 metres, and had two tall vertebrae that may have formed a strange triangular hump on its back. Some experts think that formation could have supported a sail made from skin and bone, although there's no hard proof of that so far. Another odd feature is found on their forearms, which had structures called quill knobs. Those have only been found in birds and feathered theropods, including velociraptors. Chances are those structures supported colourful feathers that sprouted during mating season. Cosmoceratops while the name Triceratops is probably more familiar to you, both of these beasts belong to the same family. But despite the lack of brand recognition, it's actually Cosmoceratops that is regarded to have the most ornate skull of any known dinosaur. Scientists say that the animal had 15 horns or horn-like structures that formed on the skull. That's the most of any known Ceratopsian dinosaur. It would have roamed what is now the state of Utah some 76 million years ago. As to the point of all those horns, as with many such adornments on male dinos, it had a lot to do with females during mating season. Orictodromius. These creatures are identified as ornithopods, or dinosaurs that started off small bipedal grazers that evolved into larger herbivores. Their fossils date back some 95 million years and suggest an animal with some peculiar characteristics. They would have measured about 7 feet long, 2.1 metres, and weighed as much as 70 pounds, 32 kilograms. But they also showed evidence of adaptations in their jaws, pelvis, and forelimbs, which may have allowed them to burrow. That's the first such dinosaur identified with such a tendency. Stranger still, experts say these beasts may have also used their snouts for burrowing, which must have made them look like an oversized prehistoric armadillo or badger. Researchers say the animal probably burrowed as a way of avoiding larger predators of the late Cretaceous. Troodon. 
This one is kind of a tiny terror. It stood just over 4 feet tall and weighed less than 90 pounds, 41 kilograms, although some sources estimate they were heavier. It may have been a lightweight, but it wasn't exactly a weakling. What it may have lacked in brawn, it made up for in brains. Of any known dinosaur, this one had the highest brain-to-body weight ratio, and it's thought to have been the most neurologically advanced specimen as well. Its large orb-like eyes gave it superior vision and the ability to hunt in low-light conditions or at night. While they weren't the biggest dinosaurs, their small frames made them agile and quick on their feet. Troodons hunting in packs could have taken down larger animals quite easily. Isle of Dinos Several dozen rare dinosaur prints or trace fossils were found recently on the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Drone technology was used to help identify the prints of dinos that roamed the area during the Middle Jurassic period some 170 million years ago. Experts from the University of Edinburgh say these creatures would have been long-necked sauropods related to the Brontosaurus. Tracks were also left by theropods that were related to T-Rex, among other animals. The find is considered especially important because only a few sites with fossils from the Middle Jurassic have been located around the world. What do you think those big beasts were doing there way back when? Chanchusaurus. That's the animal's formal name, but it's informally referred to as Pinocchio Rex. That's a reference to the dino's snout, which is long in relation to other known Tyrannosaurus. Another unusual physical feature is the animal's teeth, which are long and narrow. That's in sharp contrast to its relatives like T-Rex, which had thick teeth and powerful jaws. Experts say that long-snouted Tyrannosaurus like this were a distinct breed that didn't appear until the end of the age of dinosaurs. But why did they have such elongated snouts to begin with? Since these dinos were often found near rivers, the snouts would have helped them to support a fish-based diet. Another reason may have been to do with mating season. Females may have been more attracted to males with the larger snouts. What do you think? Microraptor Their cousins Velociraptors might be better known, but these diminutive dinosaurs had wings. In fact, it has been described as a four-winged dinosaur, with one set on its forelimbs and the other set on its hind limbs. Experts speculate that the wings were used for gliding, and possibly for powered flight as well, but that has yet to be proven. Less than 4 feet tall, 1.2 meters, and weighing about 2 pounds, 0.9 kilograms, Microraptors were certainly that. Did you know that they are considered to be among the smallest non-avian dinosaurs yet discovered? Eutyrannus The fossils of these unusual theropods were discovered in 2012 in northeastern China. Dating back some 125 million years, the creatures would have lived during the early Cretaceous. Experts say this animal would have weighed about 3,117 pounds, or 1,400 kilograms, and measured 25 feet long, or 7.5 meters. It's worth noting that those stats are debatable, but what seems to be agreed upon is the dino's strange appearance. This bipedal beast was covered in feathers that measured nearly 8 inches or 20 centimeters long. It's thought that the feathers would have helped the critter to regulate its temperature given the cold climate in which it lived. We couldn't find a definitive answer for what the colour of these feathers would have been. But while the colour is still unknown, we can say for sure that the creature's fossils represent the largest known dino specimens with direct evidence of feathers. Epidexipteryx When you think of dinosaurs, you typically think of huge, monstrous beasts. But we have a few on this list that refute the stereotype. And this tiny dinosaur may be the best example. It would have measured a mere 10 inches long, that's 25 centimetres. Although, if you add its tail feathers, that length would be extended by another 7.5 inches, or 19 centimetres. And it weighed only 164 grams, or 5.8 ounces. This critter is known from just one fossil specimen that was found in China, where it existed around 160 million years ago. Researchers say it represents the earliest example of ornamental feathers known to date in the fossil world. Mongolian Mashup What's the weirdest dinosaur ever? Well, some fossils were found in Mongolia's Gobi Desert that are said to bear features similar to ducks and swans, and may have even walked like a penguin. Dating back 75 million years, it's known as the Haskell Raptor, and has been classified as a dinosaur. Even so, some paleontologists say this specimen represents an entirely new species. Going about the size of a goose or mallard duck, the animal has a slender curved neck, a duck-like bill, and a long tail. Despite its bird-like attributes, it was a non-avian dino closely related to the Velociraptor, with razor-sharp claws and crocodilian teeth. 
While scientists have learnt a lot about it already, it seems this critter still has a lot of secrets yet to be discovered. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, click that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell for notifications when we next upload.